Cuban motion is the easiest thing to do. You do it every day when you walk. You bend and straight your knees as you transfer your weight from left to right. Sometimes you have to really relax the hips in order to feel it. Get a mirror. The only thing you're gonna do is transfer your weight from right to left. Bend the one leg and straighten the other one. You use your hips in a rotation, an eight. That's what we call it. So you have an eight and a rotation to it as you're transferring your weight and straightening the knee. If you have your leg straight, your hip automatically will be up. The bent leg automatically, your hips should be down. So never do this. So again, if you keep changing your weight and moving your hips, it gets better. You can get better at it by practicing, then you can start adding more. It's all about your body. It's all about how you can move your shoulders, your back, your hips. It makes the dance much better. In merengue, if you were just to dance merengue without Cuban motion, it would look a lot like a march. And that's not fun. <laughs> also, you don't want to lift your feet up forward like that. It looks robotic. So when you use Cuban motion in merengue, you're adding the flavor it needs. This is your merengue step. Thank you.